This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. There are more than 3,000 species of stick and leaf insect found worldwide, and they come in all different shapes and sizes, just like this spiny leaf insect here. Today, we're going to meet the world's most critically endangered species of insect, which just so happens to be a rare species of stick insect found on a small island off the east coast of Australia. This species, called the Lord Howe Island Phasmid, was once thought to be extinct, but in 2001, a small population of insects was rediscovered and a captive breeding program was started to try and bring this species back from the brink of extinction. So let's go check out this amazing animal and learn a little bit about their incredible story of survival. So we're here with entomologist Stephen Fellenberg, who's been involved in breeding the Lord Howe Island Phasmid for the past decade. Um, Stephen, can you tell us a little bit about these amazing insects and how you got involved in, in their protection? Oh look, this is, really is a fascinating story. These insects were found on Ball's Pyramid in 2001. Mm -hmm. They were believed to be extinct for 70, 80 years, eaten out by rats. Rats got on Lord Howe Island in 1918 after a ship accidentally sank and by the mid-1930s they were gone. In the mid-60s there was a few dead ones found on Ball's Pyramid and from that it led to an expedition in 2001 and we found them, found them alive on the island. I got a pair in 2003 um, and I've been breeding them ever since. All right, so this is where the magic happens. This is your this is it. the breeding room. Can you tell us a bit about your setup and talk us through the process? So this is the enclosure that I have them in. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a sandbox down here for the um, female to lay her eggs in. Mm -hmm. I've got a humidifier, a data logger to record the temperature and humidity mm -hmm. and that's where one of the plants are there and I change those over every, well, every couple of days. The insects feed on a native species of Melaleuca that is found only on Lord Howe Island. Stephen has to grow all of his insect food plants in a special greenhouse on his property. How successful has the breeding program been? Oh look, the early days were really hard, like the whole biology of them and their, their ecology is just so different. Um, it was really a struggle to get them established in those first, well, first six months at least. Over the past decade, Stephen, together with Melbourne Zoo, have bred thousands of Lord Howe Island stick insects. While the species remains the world's most endangered insect, measures have been put in place to eradicate rats from the island so that captive bred specimens can be released into their natural habitat. So this is um, the enclosure I keep the eggs in. Okay. They'll hatch in about six to nine months and turn into these. So you can see the little green one here. And they're about 18 to 20 millimetres when they hatch. And then as they get older, they actually go dark. They go that jet black oh, wow. colour. Mm -hmm. And that can take um, about three months. Mm -hmm. And then they'll take six months to get to adult. So have you found it difficult advocating for an insect species as opposed to an endangered, you know, koala or orangutan or something that's cute and fluffy? How has, how has that been? It's exactly right. Mm. Um, to promote an insect um, for anything else, you know, tigers, whales, koalas, whatever it is, they're all on the same, um, well, they all live on the planet and they all deserve to be looked after. How does it feel to, to be part of, you know, bringing a whole species back from the brink of extinction? Look, this is, this, it was, um, it was almost like a nightmare. Like, it, it's just a double-edged sword because like you're responsible for this uh, fragile, critically endangered creature. Um, you could also be responsible for wiping it out as much as we're trying to save it. So it's, it's really hard. Thank you very much, Stephen, for showing us your amazing work here with the, the Lord Howe Island Phasmid. It's really inspirational what you've done and, and continue to do. So 
keep up the incredible work and if anyone else would like to support the work of Stephen and these you know, amazing animals, um, we'll have links up at the end of the clip. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Ben. Thanks no so worries. And while it is only an insect, it is a, a living creature and should be protected just like any other animal. Hi, I'm Peter Birch, an Aussie bloke who loves wildlife. My respect for nature started when I was a young boy in rural New South Wales. Since then, it's exploded into an obsession. New episodes every Thursday, only on Animal Bites TV.